So the third activity of the day is checking your hatchlings, uh, your eggs. So I've got a number of tubs here, this one I've checked already. Um, and then we look, lift this up and have a look. Oh, it's interesting, we've got a bunch of uh, BSF in here. That's because this is the frass bay, so this is once we've finished, once that's finished we put it in here and then this is what we sell as good fertiliser. Um, but of course you do get some late bloomers, let's say, that come out, so we'll get a few. There's probably some... <clears throat> oh, a... Substrate's come... The frass has come down, but there might be some pre-pupa in here. There's the... I think I've seen a fly or two around. Um, anyway, back to the eggs. It's the second, the second job of the day. Uh, sorry, third job of the day. So I did have a little thing to poke around in. So I don't really want to touch them. Though. Where did I put that? I don't know if I can find it. Anyway, um, what you're looking for is this is a mixture of um, what we do is a mixture of substrates, so some rotten fruits or some you know old fruit, fruit waste, uh, which is great, and then some maize bran just to give a bit of texture. You want it to be fairly, fairly moist, not too moist. Um, and what you do is you put the cardboard on top. These are the ones with the eggs in it. You can see there, there's some some eggs, and it's all been weighed out. So we record it here. So we've got uh, this one doesn't have the weight it should do, but put it in on the 21st and then it's about five days from to hatch 26 today's the 28th so I'm thinking we should have hopefully some maggots in here so first thing to do is just remove the eggs um, you don't want this to happen so that's wet that means that any eggs that are in there will, will spoil because if they get the eggs get wet then they don't survive so you need to keep the eggs dry so that's why you put it on top there are some systems where they will put sort of bits of wood across and then hang the uh, the bits of um, cardboard on top, you can do that, no problem. Uh, but we just try this way because it's a bit simpler now. I can check, I'm putting my hand underneath because you get an area of warmth normally where you can feel them all. Yeah, it's about, about just here. So hopefully, I it would have a little stick or something. Here we go, yeah, look, you can see it's all the maggots. So it's warm underneath because I can feel the, the heat of them all huddled together, keeping, you know, basically working together. And there's loads of maggots under here, all wriggling around. Um, so these are probably five day old, a couple of day old hatchlings now. Some of them hatched sooner. Um, and then these is what we're gonna, we're gonna pass these on to our customers. So uh, we'll sell these. So that's the other thing you're doing. So you're checking this. Once I've checked it, you, one, what you're looking for is you don't want this to be too dry. So if this substrate starts to look dry, because you've added maize, if it gets stuck together, it gets clumpy and well mixed, then you would um, change that and just make sure it's not too dry. And then you put your eggs back on top. These, these guys will sit in here for a bit. I mean, they're probably ready to harvest about now, to be honest, but um, maybe I'll do that a bit later on. But yeah, that's your third job of the day is just checking your eggs. Um, and then later on, job four of the day, an important job of the day, would be to harvest your eggs from the polytunnel. But I tend to do that later on in the day because the flies are more active when it's a bit warmer. They'll have worked, you know, they've had enough sunlight, which they need sunlight to mate, uh, and then you'll hatch that. But this is the, the important job that you, you need to do just to make sure the subject's okay, and then you can see what to do with your hatchlings. These are probably ready to put into some substrate, so either you can sell them or you'd put them directly into one of these bays uh, with a bunch of substrate, which you've, you know, you can either chop it up, like we haven't chopped this up, or you can use, if you've got access to a machine, you can chop it, um, and then they will spend the next couple of weeks, to two to three weeks growing nice and fat, so you can then harvest them for your animals.